You ever wonder how impressionable we are? You read the things about the Holocaust and you say, how could these people have done that? You see things going on with terrorists. How could these people do it? 65% of random everyday people will kill an innocent stranger if they're told to by an authority figure. Just imagine how much pressure the Nazi party exerted, how much pressure say the Taliban exerts, or any group that wants you to do something. People are vulnerable, people are weak. Let me show you this experiment. The Milgram experiment, M-I-L-G-R-A-M. -M. Milgram's experiment at Yale University. Uh, these experiments began in 1961. Three months after the start of the trial of German Nazi war criminal Adolf Eichmann in Jerusalem, Milgram devised this study to answer the question, was it that Eichmann and his accomplices in the Holocaust had mutual intent? Was there a mutual sense of morality among those involved? Or were they just following orders? Milgram summarized the experiment in his 1974 article, The Perils of Obedience, writing, the legal and philosophic aspects of obedience are of enormous importance, but they say very little about how most people behave in concrete situations. I set up a simple experiment at Yale University to test how much pain an ordinary citizen would inflict on another person simply because he was ordered to by an experimental scientist. Stark authority was pitted against the subjects, participants, strongest moral imperatives against hurting others. And with the subjects, participants, ears ringing with the screams of the victims. Authority won more often than not. Authority won more often than not. The extreme willingness of adults to go to almost any lengths on the command of an authority constitutes the chief finding of the study. In Milgram's first set of experiments, 65% of experiment participants administered the experiment's final massive 450 volt shock. Ordinary people simply doing their jobs and without any particular hostility on their part can become agents in a terrible destructive process. Moreover, even when the destructive effects of their work become patently clear, and they are asked to carry out actions incompatible with fundamental standards of morality. Relatively few people have the resources needed to resist authority. <clears throat> so if you tell me an American soldier is evil, even one who kills an innocent person, if you tell me a Nazi soldier is evil, even though he kills an innocent person, Holocaust all over the world, all over time, this is how it happens. Authority tells you to do it. Terrorist bombers. Someone told them to do it. Someone enticed them to do it. People are weak. We as humans are weak. So don't go judging even those who kill others because quite often they are swept away and we've got to stop authority figures telling these people what to do. They are following orders and very likely 65% in this test will follow orders. 65% most People, most of you, will kill an innocent stranger if an authority figure tells you to do it.